So here we are once again, here we are once again. This is a uh, second, third growth, growth western red cedar log. It seems fairly dry. So I'd call this like a three quarter log because the back's cut off straight here. So I'm gonna do spirit of the totems pole for, because I want to. So lots of wood spirits on here. I might put in some little uh, carving fusion ghost skulls in here. This video is dedicated to all those spirit carvers out there. So like for example, I've said this before on some of my videos, if you have some friends that say, is that all you carve is the spirits? Is the old man faces? Yeah, it's all I carve. Who cares? Just keep carving them because you're going to get better. But if you struggle mentally, like, man, I got to do something else besides a carve a wood spirit. Well, carve a wood spirit, but carve some other stuff in the background. This is, this is what I do. This is what I like to have fun with. This is my style. And it just, well, it's other people's styles, but... It's something that I like to do, um, open up my mind, get some nice lines in here. I think the more spirits on this, the better. Um, and this is just to help motivate you friends and followers and subscribers and people and aliens of the world. I just got to rub. So like your, your face doesn't need to be perfectly straight here. You can go like this you know you have your eyebrows this way then your nose this way so it's like this and then the, the mustache comes down here I need to find a better pen is what I need to do it's down by so like um, where was that line your eyebrows here actually let's lower them a bit eyebrows here center line help always helps your nose then your mustache comes down here because gravity's pulling it this way um, your forehead so forehead nose eyebrows mustache your beard can come down here so we're gonna start off with this one then you know like I haven't even thought this out and another thing too yes the bark is off this wood but I don't know how good the sap wood is on the inside. I can see there's some bug holes here. Let me get the camera off the tripod. You guys got enough big enough view of the thing thing. But so a good indication when your sap wood, which sap wood is the water wood. It's the, see, see all this white stuff there? Sap wood, sap wood or water wood. Okay. This wood on the outside is never as good as the hardwood in the middle. The cedar is not hard, but through the friggin' wood wood. So here I can see it seems pretty solid when I'm doing this. Okay, that seems pretty solid. But if I look here, I can see some bug holes. So that's a good indication that this was a dead standing cedar tree and the bugs kill it. Like, you, look, you can see the pass where they traveled. So, you know, normally if I thought this sapwood was all rotten and crusty inside here I'd have to carve all this sapwood off all around the whole tree get rid of it and get your nice wood but sometimes the sapwood's solid and you don't need to do that so what do I want to do well I think I'm just going to cut in this spirit see how that goes if I got to cut it deeper to get rid of the sapwood I will see you can see right there there's a bug hole bug hole so I suggest people that are dremel carving or something like that always inspect your wood before you start carving me i'm kind of i'm gonna kind of just dig into it and see what happens hopefully i can keep the sapwood on this piece but um there's not going to be too much filming carving this because i got a lot to carve and i'm going to be using the new ms162 with a steel carving bar i just made a video how to put the carving bar on this saw this ms162 might not be in your uh, steel dealer shop yet but they're out now here boom i'm in canada we're usually last to get things on the new on the market here in canada so there it is so if you want to learn about the saw and the bar just look at my last couple of videos you'll see it so i'm going to start cutting this out now see what happens with this wood inspect the wood
Okay, so I'm not gonna hook up my microphone right now. So here you can see I got my first wood spirit blocked in. It's kind of going down this way and up this way. Now this will be the biggest one out of the whole piece because I want it to kind of be like your center point. Even though it's not center of the log, it's your kind of focus piece, I guess. I don't know. So this one's tilted this way. So why don't we tilt the other one up here this way. Now, well, it's on my mind, this waterwood, the sapwood is good in lots of spots. Some bug holes do go in there. Look, there's a fresh worm right there. Yep. Oh yeah, cut it right in half. I remember when I very first started Dremel carving, cottonwood bark, all the bark that I got was full of bug holes and there was worms in there. And I remember getting splatted in the face with uh, worms, the worm guts. So this one, like it doesn't need to have a forehead when you're going, this is just to help show you guys kind of open your mind. So this one, how do I want to incorporate? So this hair is kind of going up like this. You want it all to blend together. Kind of like I do anyways, kind of like tic-tac-toes. So this one will kind of just go down there so that it can blend here, right? See how it blended in there? To his hair I'll cut it deep in there and it's and this one can just do whatever it wants to do so that spirits even a little bit big that's okay it's all right like the more spirits you get on here the better I think but um, just make sure that you have fun because it's about uh, connecting the dock it's tic-tac-toe how does tic-tac-toe yeah tic-tac-toe connecting the dots yep so i'll cut this one in and um yeah also i was running my little 25 echo 25112 with the eight inch forester bar on there carve deeper so i carved two more in now i carved that one i carved this I see you have to keep on carving deeper friends I carve this deeper so that you can see the side view of this face but um, I've run out of bar oil so I got to go get some more bar oil but I think we're off to a good start that's probably I don't know how long carving doesn't matter um, yeah so I gotta go to the store get some more bar oil just uh, I'll go to the hardware the grocery store get some carnola oil I have this problem my earbud thing that the rubber thing that sticks in your ear I guess I pushed it in too far now it's um, stuck in my ear and I gotta go home I can't get it out it's deep in there I gotta get uh, go home and see if somebody at my place can help me get it out with some needle nose players or something but yeah it's way in there okay so I made it back to the tent so that's what we got so far one two three um, this is just canola oil you can get from the grocery store so if you got carbon in your backyard you can use this stuff um, I got three packs of smokes ready to go. I got my coffee ready to go and I got an early dinner ready to go So we'll call this a lunch dinner and uh, well, I'm all set up for I can carve here overnight if I want <laughs> Hi Liz So break time's over so I'm carving this up uh, this piece to put in my front yard because I want to look at it So I got a couple skull top things of the skulls here so one here one here one here now how I process this is I could blast in all the chainsaw carving then come along with my die grinder but do you think I want to sit here for five hours with my die grinder doing all the fine stuff no I don't when I'm at my chainsaw carving tent I want to be using my chainsaws so I'm gonna do this face maybe not the real eyes I'm gonna do I'm gonna clean everything up with my these first these three skulls I mean wood spirits with my die grinder because and I'm gonna do these skulls maybe I'll do some skulls up here then I don't have to spend 10 hours later with my die grinder doing the whole piece at one time there's no hurry if I don't finish this all today that's completely fine with me
So, Western Red Cedar, I believe, is one of the better chainsaw carving woods in the world. But just because it's Western Red Cedar doesn't mean it's one of the best chainsaw carving woods in the world because this is um, really soft stuff and a little bit too soft, especially this sapwood. But um, so there's kind of a skull face, kind of like a lapping skull here, and eye eye skull here. So I got three on there so far. This one I just carved an eye to kind of look like this way. That silly guy. So this one also, when I was carving it, half this nose just ping flew real right off, like the whole whole, whole half a nose. So I carved it deeper and I says, well, this one's gonna have hollow eyes and that's the way it is. Uh, big shout out to Spike. How you doing Spike? Thanks for all the uh, positive words on the videos and the encouragement that you give me. And uh, I'm giving you a shout out because I know you love the skulls, so. Now I think up here I'm going to carve in another wood spirit because this one's sloped that way. I'm going to slope this one this way. I'm going to remember to leave some space up here for some skulls. Um, I'm going to, this beard's going to come down here. I'm going to block, cut in some skulls there. Now the first burr I was using was the cuts all the, where is it? Uh, anyways, it was, yeah, it's right here. This was the cuts all, get rid of this, look at that picture. This um, burr is super aggressive for the soft wood, so I'll probably start doing more carving with this softer one. On the David Grass, um, kicking ass David Grass 3 800C die grinder, and this is the Mito Bow. This Mito Bow die grinder is pretty freaking wicked too. So, anyways, carry on, carry on, carry on. So I'm not too sure about this part here, but that skull's neat. Um, I just kind of made it look like one's broken up there. I'll do some more details later with my Dremel. Let's see here. So I got that one blocked in, that wood spirit. I got one blocked in down there. So I'm making sure the ones on the side, that the nose stick farthest off the face so you can tell it's a wood spirit there see like that one so I've left this room just to carve my skulls and little things I'm gonna actually take my time right now and use my Dremel with the um, I, I know for a fact I'm not gonna get done this today I'm just kind of messing around having a good time but uh, my Dremel where is it I don't know it's here somewhere um, not this one this one's just sharpened my chainsaws. But yeah, I'm going to carve some skulls in there with my Dremel, and that might be it for today. And I'll clean these ones up too with the die grinders. Carry on. Carry on. Okay, so. Yeah, my skulls are kind of funny looking, but that's okay. I haven't practiced them enough. I've been taking my time on this, just chainsaw carving, uh, grinding. I don't know if I said in the beginning of this video, but I left this knot in here and carved it deeper. I can carve a little demon or a little gargoyle or an owl to sit up here. So that's what something's going to be sitting on here. So I didn't really put too much detail where it's going to be, this thing's going to be sitting. Um, this one, I what I did is I cut it back. I look like it's jaws broken now, kind of. I got to carve it deeper under here. That's my problem with um, carving skulls and even real faces is the, um, I haven't practiced enough the bottom jaws. So lots of my skulls don't have bottom jaws. <laughs> this one I just left a little bit of wood there. I can carve some rotten teeth in there. So one thing that I suggest for people is comfort always be really comfortable when you're carving so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take undo this I got this piece of wood in the jaw horse like this and I got it screwed back here okay so I gotta unscrew it I gotta lift this piece up get this log under here get this log 
underneath that and it'll lift it up a bit and um, yeah so that's what I got to do I'll do that off camera but you see there's everything's this face is a little bit higher than this face so you got one center face here so instead of having another one more face down here I'm gonna carve two smaller faces down here cops are coming gotta go wasn't me okay 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 Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six wood spirits up there. Six wood spirits up there. I really gotta practice my skulls if I wanna do skulls. All my skulls look like little squirrel, squirrel skulls or something. Top half of a squirrel. There's more than seven here. Six here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, there's seven on there. So probably get two or three more down here. It's gonna be it for me today. Man, I got a lot of sawdust in my eyes. I got a lot of sawdust in my eyes today. That's lots of carving. I don't care what anybody says. That's lots of carving for me. I'm going to give you guys a close up in the minute. I still got to carve all the. This cedar is actually pretty wet in here. Um, I got to carve some real eyes. I kind of blocked them out here. Real eyes. Um, real eyes. Real eyes. This one's. They're blocked out. The skull. I kind of give it some. I'm thinking more demon stuff, kind of a little bit. I don't know. So I think I'll probably make this up two two part series so there's old cool old school carbon fusion hanging lip there just carve Rob side view that's lots of carving they're still sanding they're still carving they're still detailing so this one, like, see there? I kind of give it some demon teeth. It's got some weird teeth underneath. I don't know. Whatever. It's going in my front yard, so. That's part of one, one of two. I don't know if I'll be able to finish this tomorrow. And I got some mushrooms and little things people want carved. So I hope everybody's doing good. Tomorrow I'm going to bring a replica skull here so I can get a better. I should have looked at some pictures when I was carving those skulls today, but that's alright. It says what it is. People say, what kind of skull is that? I'll say it's a carving fusion skull. That's what it is. Okay, talk to you later. Don't shit your pants. Don't shit your pants.